I found the schedule here at the ponds, what their morning times for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and uh, their activities. I took the schedule home with me back to Castle, and for the next week before I came out here, I, every morning I made myself practice, get up early in the morning, get dressed, do as much as I can without asking for help before I make that call bell, and then go down, have your breakfast, sitting up, dressed, fully dressed, like a human being, not half naked in your bed, go back to bed, take a rest, get up again at lunch, go back, get up again at dinner. I practiced every day in anticipation of what this community would be like to be part of a normal living environment. And as I practiced every day, that lessened greatly my um, anxieties about leaving Castle. By the time I left Castle, I was re ready to go, raring to go. Let's get it, let's get it going. I stacked up, stocked up on the items that I would need. I packed my bags, I unloaded bags. I got rid of the things that I didn't need. Um, I downsized my stuff, quickly upgraded my stuff again. But by the time I was ready to leave, I was ready to leave. Um, it wasn't a sad situation. It wasn't apprehensive. I was quiet that day. Everybody was worried about me because I was so quiet. But I was thinking. I was thinking, have I got everything? Is everything in place? Is everybody on board? Are all my medications been ordered? Have I picked up my medication? I was thinking of all the things that needed to be done before I actually arrived here. But the day I got here was a great day. It was, I got here in the afternoon. The manager, Steve Bai, he came and met me. Sweet as can be. Uh, great, great, great man. I love this man. Um, he took me to my room. The bed was already set up. I quickly, my uncles brought in my furnishings, my boxes. I met the residents. Some of them, they introduced themselves immediately which was a great thing. They were very friendly. I joined them at dinner, and I talk easily with people. I, easily, I make friends easily. So I just went around and introduced myself, and I found people to be very nice, very kind. And so the move here for me was relatively low stress, stress-free, but I had to work on it. I had to pull it together, and I had to really remind myself that this, what I'm going to is a life that I'm going towards. It's the life that I wanted and that it wasn't going to happen if I didn't make the move. My life wasn't going to get better and get to where I want it to be, where it needs to be, if I stay in a hospital, on a chuck, under a sheet, 24-7.